my name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel Which Way to Wicked where we talk about all things love, light, and especially tarot. So guys, today we are going to be doing such a fabulous reading today as we find out what people find to be so beautiful and so alluring about you. So if you have been feeling kind of down as of late, if you've been feeling a little bit sad, then this is the perfect reading for you because we are gonna be hyping you up, babe, okay? So without further ado, let's take a look at your group picks today, okay? So for group number one, we have this rounded rose quartz crystal coming through. For group number two, we have this gorgeous rainbow crystal. It's like a crescent shape crystal coming through. And last but not least, for group number three, we have this more cuboid like form, this rectangular form of rose quartz as well. So guys, I want you to go ahead and take a very big deep breath in. And now I want you to please let it out. And now I want you to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think about what makes you so beautiful, what makes you so alluring, what is it about you that is just so beyond beautiful. Now, whenever you feel ready, please open your eyes and whichever crystal your eyes lands on first, then that, my dear, is going to be the reading for you today. Now, if you feel called to more than one crystal here, then definitely feel free to check out those extra messages as well. And as always, I will have the timestamps listed down in the description box below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this reading today, shall we? Hello, group one. So if you felt called to this gorgeous rounded rose quartz crystal today, then hey, Hello, my name is Cameron, and I'm so happy to be able to make this reading for you guys today. So I'm going to go ahead and just place this off to the side, like so, and let's start shuffling through your cards because, guys, I'm so excited to hype y'all up. I'm so excited to tell you what makes you so beautiful, so alluring, so attractive. So yeah, if you're having a bad day, if you haven't been feeling that great and you need, you need to pick me up, then I am your girl and this is your reading. So Spirit, can we get some messages please for group one? What makes them so beautiful and alluring and attractive? Can we get some messages please? What makes them so beautiful, so alluring, so attractive? Okay. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely seeing a clear message coming through already. Let's see what else wants to come through here. Let's get maybe one more, two more cards. Spirit, can we get one or two more cards, please? Okay. Alrighty. So first of all, for the back of the deck energy, we have the chariot card coming through. We also have the hierophant, which does talk about Taurus energy. So you could be a Taurus, sun, moon, rising, or in Venus. We have the moon, and I can't remember exactly which water sign this represents. It's either Pisces or Cancer, I believe. But whenever I see this card, it just always makes me think of just water signs in general. So you could be a water sign as well. That is including Scorpios. Um, and then last but not least, we have the four of earth. So what makes you so beautiful, so alluring? It's the fact that, baby, you're a mystery. You are a mystery. I feel like there is just a very like quiet, reserved energy about you. And 
it's the type of energy that leaves people guessing. It leaves people with questions. And so uh, I just think because you seem as though you keep more to yourself, because you are on the more quieter side, I just think that people, they never, they, they feel as though they never truly have their finger on you. They don't know who you truly are. They feel like what they get from you is not everything that is there. They're only seeing what you let them see. And so it makes me think of Shrek <laughs> and of the the analogy that he uses where he says ogres are like onions and the way that they have layers and what people see on the surface it's it's just that outer shell it, they're they're barely seeing the they're barely seeing any part of them right and so you are like an ogre in the way that people they don't truly know you they're not truly seeing everything there is to know about you and so people want to know more about you. This enigma, this mystery that you are makes you so intriguing to people and it makes you so alluring. And anytime people meet you or talk to you, they are left with more questions than answers and they just get this like in unquenchable or unquenchable, I, I don't know how to say that, what, what the right word is, but they have this unquenchable desire to know more and to talk to you more just so that they can um, learn more about you. And there's also this energy here where people feel like you have this quiet exterior and yet on the inside they, they feel like there is, there's, there's bite to you, right? And they feel like you have this like feistier side that just hasn't been seen yet. And so people are kind of attracted to that sassier, that feistier side to you. So it could be that maybe you are like quite a quiet person in general. You could be a very sweet, very, very nice individual, but there are moments where a sassier side to you kind of is unveiled. Maybe in moments of like maybe in heated moments or moments where someone is uh, I don't know saying something rude to you or questioning you there might be this spark that is seen whenever you uh, talk back to them and you say no no this this is what I need to say and this is what you're gonna hear I just feel like there are moments where you can see a bit of uh, claws to you and that sassier side to you is definitely something that is very beautiful it's very attractive and alluring to people they love it <laughs> um and then last but not least we have the hierophant coming through i just feel like there is this spiritual side to you i don't know if you are traditionally religious maybe you believe in a higher power like god or maybe you believe in like mother nature, something that's a little bit more different than the usual religion, right? Whatever it is though, whatever it is you believe in, I feel like people just, I feel like it causes you to have a very strong faith. And that faith that you have, it's very evident in the way that people feel feel an almost like spiritual spiritual aura from you they feel a certain amount of confidence that you have and that confidence that you have comes from you having faith in a higher power it comes from you having faith in the universe feeling as though you are protected and so there's just this very strong confident spiritual energy around you that radiates off of you that people find to be so alluring so attractive it just makes you very very beautiful very appealing and yeah that's kind of what i'm seeing so far overall your mystery people don't don't know what to expect from you they want to learn more about you 
there's this sassier side to you that people love and want to learn more about and there's also that spiritual side to you that is just reflected as you having a lot of confidence and just having a very strong aura about you so yeah those are some of the things that i'm seeing that makes you so beautiful let's see what else wants to come through spirit for group one what makes them so beautiful so alluring so attractive will you give us some more information about this person let's see and then let's get one more card one more card i feel like this one you see that kind of sticking out i'm gonna grab that okay let's see what wants to come through so we have thief making an, an appearance and it says sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen so just looking at this card you can see that this person is wearing a jacket, right? And then whenever they open the jacket, you can see that there is a heart right there on the inside of said jacket. So this kind of makes me think of how some people, they wear their heart on their sleeve and you can just see their truth radiating off of them, right? Everyone knows what these type of people are thinking, what they're feeling. They're very true and authentic to themselves and true and authentic with their emotions. But you are different. You hide your heart. You are someone who doesn't just let anyone in. You don't let just anyone know what you're feeling or thinking. I feel as though you are a very private person. Again, very quiet, very reserved. And so it's almost as though because you hide your heart and you don't just give it to anyone people look at it your heart as though it is so valuable and as though it is like a treasure and so again what makes you so beautiful is that you are such a mystery and yet, what makes you even more beautiful is the idea that you might decide to open up to someone. So I feel like whenever you are the most beautiful to people, whenever you are the most alluring, the most attractive to others, is whenever you actually open yourself up and let people know how you're feeling and talk about your emotions and just let people in, in general that is whenever you are most beautiful because people realize how valuable that is people realize that you don't just reveal your feelings your emotions your innermost thoughts to just anyone so whenever you are the most beautiful is whenever you are the most open to someone because they know how rare that is for you to open yourself up now we have protection yeah you protect yourself you're always protecting yourself your heart your feelings your emotions Again, very beautiful. You could be someone who is very protective of your friends and your family members. So for the people who you do decide to let in, you protect them with a fierce type of love. Again, we have that chariot energy coming through. And this just makes me think of someone who is not afraid to, uh, to punch some peeps, okay? They're not afraid to let people know how they're feeling. And I feel like you are in, you step into this like protective really strong warrior-like mode whenever you feel like you need to protect your friends and your family members and people find that protectiveness that you have to be so so beautiful people love it and then last but not least we have walk with wings so i think i want to go ahead and see what the book has to say about this this could honestly just be representing how again I feel like you are someone who has a strong faith, right? And that faith is something that lifts you up and gives you a sense of confidence. And that faith is reflected in the way that you walk. It's reflected in the way that you present yourself. People can just see that you are a confident person, that you are someone who feels very strong and very empowered by what you believe in and so people find that to be very 
incredibly charming, very attractive and alluring. But like I said, let's check to see what the book has to say. Although I feel like I already explained that pretty well. But I said we would look at it, so let's look at it. It says, Lake walks a narrow and spiky path, but she's relaxed and confident. Maybe it's because she has no fear of falling thanks to her wings or thanks to her faith. We all need metaphorical wings, a steady partner, a relative or friend. Yet Lake isn't reminding you of your wings, but the gift of being someone else's. Is there someone in your life who needs lifting? Or maybe you can, you just need to be around in case they slip. You might find that your own wings are broad enough to carry too. So like I was saying, I feel like for the people who you are close with, for the people who you do love and you've opened up to, you will be there for them through anything. If they need someone to lift them up, you will lift them up in a heartbeat. You will be there just like that. And so people see that. They see how protective and loving you are to your close people to the people who are in your inner circle and they just want to be those people and they find that protective streak that you have to be utterly beautiful so yeah at the end of the day that's what i'm seeing for you i hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because i post new videos every monday and every friday and i would love to have you stop by the side of terror tube again sometime Okay, so I love you all so much, and I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye. Hello, group two. So if you felt called to this rainbow crystal today, then hey, hello. My name is Cameron, and welcome to this fabulous reading. I am so beyond happy to be able to have you guys here to hang out with me for a little while. So thank you so much for deciding to be here, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and just place this crystal off to the side to look cute like so and let's start shuffling through your cards because guys I I just love doing readings like this I love being able to lift people up and to make them feel beautiful to make them feel loved and appreciated and just amazing and so I'm very excited to get into this reading so spirit can you please give group two some messages today? What is it about them that makes them so beautiful, so attractive, so lovely? Please let us know. What do people in general find so beautiful and attractive about them? Let's see what wants to come through. We have the lovers making an appearance. So you could be a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus. And if so, hey Geminis. We have the Nine of Air. And last but not least, we have the Page of Water. So guys, I'm definitely hearing that you may have some type of social anxiety or maybe just another type of anxiety in general maybe you are someone that just constantly worries about things and it just causes you to just feel like you're always on alert and it causes you to just feel very nervous and I feel like that is something that really affects you. It might keep you up at night. Those worries, those fears, those anxieties. And I think what makes you so beautiful and what other people find to be really beautiful about you is the fact that I feel as though you don't let those fears, that type of anxiety or even that social anxiety that you may have to keep you down for long. I think that you are someone who has actually fought against those anxieties that you might have tooth and nail. I feel like you may have decided to go and talk to a counselor. Maybe you've decided to talk to your friends, your family members about this anxiety that you have. Or maybe you've tried to put steps in place to fight against this anxiety by um, 
starting a gratitude journal or by trying to be more mindful, maybe meditate or do things that may cause you to have some stress relief like doing yoga or getting a massage, something like that. I feel like people, they see how you are just a fighter. You are a fighter and you refuse to let anything, even your own mind, your own anxieties, your own fears, hold you back for long. And so that is what makes you so beautiful. That is what makes you so alluring, so attractive. It's that you want to live your life. You want to live it to its fullest. And you realize that in order to do that, you have to fight tooth and nail against this fear, against your own demons, your own inner turmoil or conflict or or anxieties and you just don't let it hold you back and people love that and I do think that you genuinely are a really fun person to be around because with the lovers coming through you can see that there are three women here and they're just partying they're having a good time they're hanging out with people and so I think that you do have like a really great personality and people may notice that you might seem nervous every once in a while they may notice that you have a bit of social anxiety or something that might plague you every once in a while but I think that that might be something that they find to be very cute <laughs> if I'm being honest with you there are people that that seem a bit nervous and I've met people that seem kind of shy kind of nervous and sometimes that nervousness, that shyness, it's something that is just so unique to them and it's kind of cute because some people who are nervous they just kind of like sit there and they like nibble on their fingers or they like look down a bit like or something like that. They they have these little tendencies that they that they have and these nervous tendencies and sometimes those nervous tendencies are like the cutest thing ever and so people might notice that you're a nervous person or that you have some anxieties but it's cute, it's you, it's what makes you you, and people find it to be very beautiful, very sweet, but again, they see how you're always like fighting against that too, like you may be nervous, but you're not letting those nerves keep you from living your life, and they find that, that strong will, that strong determination that you have to be so incredibly gorgeous, so incredibly beautiful. They just love how strong you are, how much of a warrior you are. And they also, again, just love your personality. I feel like as you conquer those those nervous uh, tendencies that you may have, as you conquer your nerves, your social anxiety, whatever it may be, people see your personality just come out and burst out of the seams and they love your personality, okay? That's what I'm seeing here with the Page of Water because the Page of Water talks about someone who is everybody's friend. This is someone who everybody wants as their close buddy because they're just fun to be around. They're very, they're very sweet, very loving, and I feel like you are all of those things. You're very sweet, very loving, very fun to be around. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a lot of people are attracted to you a lot of people want to date you or to just be your best friend but that is kind of what I'm seeing so far I feel like you are just a very friendly person and I think that you put people at ease you make people feel very comfortable around you and it might be that I feel like you just don't really take yourself too seriously you are someone who doesn't um who, who isn't like what's the word like you don't have a big ego you don't take yourself too seriously. I feel like you're able to like laugh at yourself and make jokes that that make fun of your own self, right? And they like that. People really like that. You're just a breath of fresh air to people and you just make them feel so safe and so relaxed and so comfortable. And that is definitely something that is also very beautiful, okay? Let's see what wants to come through here. Oh my goodness, so we had one card and there's another card that fell down here. We'll take those. Let's see what else wants to come through. What makes group two so beautiful, so attractive, so alluring? Let's get some messages, please. 
Okay. Wow. This is so intriguing. Okay, so we have the fool coming through and it says fearlessly revealing emotion, helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy. So I find this to be so interesting because we have this and we can see this guy, he's like holding a mask, right? But behind that mask, you can see his true face and there are tears that are literally rolling down his eyes. He looks like he's going through something. And then we literally have the card tears coming through. And so I just feel like you are someone, and this is very interesting. I think that you are someone who's very open about your anxiety. You're very open about what is going on internally. You let people know how you're feeling. And people find that honesty to be one of your best qualities. They love how you fearlessly reveal your emotions and you reveal what's going on with you. They like that, they love that. And they also love how you are able, again, to make people laugh and to also just make yourself laugh and to make fun of yourself, poke fun of, your, poke fun of yourself, they like that. They find that to be very fun, very sweet. They feel like you are the gift that keeps on giving with the abundance card. You just have so much love, so much honesty to throw out there and people like it. They bask in your honesty and your love and this glow that you just seem to have all to yourself. And then last but not least, we have the ebb and flow coming through. And so people love how you are someone who has so many worries. You have so many things going on in the inside and yet you are combating all of those fears, all of those worries, all those anxieties. And you're just trying to, trying to, find that inner groove within yourself. You're trying to find this ebb and flow. You're trying to let go of any tension, of any, of anything that might cause you to feel like you have to always be in control. They love how you're trying to let that go and do things to help yourself so that you can kind of go with the flow. Does that make sense? So I feel like at the end of the day, you may have a tendency to want to control things or to um, want to always have a, have a plan A, a plan B, a plan C for everything just to put yourself more at ease and to calm down any anxiety or fears that you may have. But at the end of the day, you don't want to live that way. You don't want to live like that. You want to be able to go with the flow, to have fun, to go with the punches. And so you are actively creating a plan which uh, I find that funny because that kind of counteracts what I'm saying, what I was just saying, how you want to go with the flow. At the end of the day, you are trying to find ways to counteract these fears, these anxieties. You're trying to find a way to keep yourself from having to always be in control by maybe trying to meditate more or trying to relax by getting a massage. You're just trying to implement things that will help you to let loose and people like that. They like that. They like that about you. They like how you're trying to better yourself. They find that to be very beautiful. So yeah, at the end of the day, that's what I'm seeing for you. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did, then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you stop by the side of TerraTube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much and I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye. Hello, group three. So if you felt called to this beautiful rectangular shaped rose quartz crystal today, then hey, hello, my name is Cameron and I am going to be your tarot reader today. So I'm going to go ahead and just place this off to the side like so. And let's just start shuffling through your cards. Let's get right into this reading. I do want to say really quick, just a big thanks. Thank you so much for 
for deciding to hang out with me today for coming to this reading I really do enjoy making videos like this it really does make me happy and it also makes me happy that I have people like you who are even deciding to watch this video and to go on this journey with me it is just incredible and I just want to say thank you okay thank you thank you thank you if you're new here maybe give this video a big like and if you like my reading today maybe also consider subscribing i love to be able to make videos like this with y'all and i'd love to be able to have you join the side of my tarot tube family okay but let's see what wants to come through for you what makes you so beautiful so attractive so alluring and what do other people find to be all so beautiful and attractive and alluring about you okay so we have the two of water coming through we have the seven of air interesting and we have the knight of air so first of all with the knight of air you could be an air sign sun moon rising or in venus we also have a the other card for the back of the deck energy before of water coming through okay so let's look at this let's look at this so first of all i think what makes you so beautiful is that you are someone who will not be ignored whatsoever i feel like you are you're very persistent you're very, very persistent, and you're also very loud. Like, you have a voice, and you use it, okay? And so, if there is ever anyone that is ignoring you, if there's ever anyone that's not taking you seriously or tries to shove you away in a corner, you will not let them do that to you. You are someone who, again, will always have a voice and you will use it and you will not let anyone silence you. And so it's the way that you are just so forceful and passionate and bold. That is something that people find to be very beautiful. And that is something that is just so gorgeous in general about you. And it's also the way that, again, you're a very honest person. I don't think that you are someone who wears a mask and pretends to be something you're not. That's not your MO, that's not something that you do, like no. You just do you, and it, you're proud of yourself, you're proud of who you are, and you're not gonna hide it. You're not gonna hide it at all. It may be that in the past, maybe you felt as though you had to hide your truth. Um, an example that I'm thinking of just off the top of my head is, uh, it's related to someone who I know. I know this person through massage school, and she, <laughs> excuse me you guys sorry she was someone who hid her truth for a very long time she she was a closeted lesbian for a very long time she hid it from her friends from her family members because she was afraid of the blowback she was afraid of her mom and dad not loving her anymore if I'm being frank with you guys she was afraid of what they would say if she were to tell them like I'm a lesbian right and so for years and years and years and years she kept it a secret she kept it to herself she went on to have boyfriends and all those things right but she finally found it in herself to just want to be honest to want to be completely truthful with who she was she was done hiding and so she stepped out of the closet and she told her family members her friends this is who she is and she wasn't gonna she wasn't gonna hide it anymore did she lose friends and did she lose some family family members she did i think but that was okay because she was finally being honest and she was finally being her completely authentic self and she was happier because of it and so now she goes around, she has like a, a, a rainbow umbrella, she goes to all the gay pride events, she is just so out there living her truth and it is beautiful, it's amazing. And she won't let anyone put her in a corner anymore. And I feel like that that is you. 
Um, you may not be, <laughs> you may not be gay or a lesbian. Maybe you are, okay? And maybe this story is completely something that you can completely resonate with. But if you don't resonate with that, that's fine. It could be something else that you kept a secret or whatnot. But I definitely think there could have been something in your past here that you hid for quite some time. But now you're out and you are sharing your truth and you will not let anyone hold you back anymore. And people find that to be beautiful. They love how honest you are. They love how much you love yourself and how you're not afraid to just shine. And I think that with the two of water coming through, there are a ton of people that admire you. There are a ton of people that want to date you. Um, I mean, this talks about finding your other half. This talks about finding someone who just completely completes you. And so, yeah, I do think that there are a ton of people that are interested in you. There are a ton of people that want to be your best friend and they want to be something more than that, okay? But let's see what wants to come through here. I would also dare to say that you are a very intelligent person with the night of air coming through this usually talks about someone who is very big about learning they love to learn new things they're like a sponge that is constantly trying to soak up new information and so i feel like your intelligence is also something that makes you very beautiful it's something that people find to be very incredible i feel like you are someone who might have like a lot of different interests and i think that you are someone who will go out of your way to learn more and more and more about these interests and so i just feel like you are someone who has a lot of like obscure information about certain things that people may not know and so it's almost like you're a textbook in a way whenever you start talking about something that you're interested in you know so many minute details about it you know so many complex things and people just find that to be very interesting they love hearing you talk about the things that you're interested in because they also learn more as they talk to you so I don't know people like how passionate you are about things and what makes you so beautiful is your thirst for knowledge and the fact that you have so much knowledge about certain things now we have the guide coming through so I definitely think that people look at you as someone who they can look up to. They look at you as someone who is a guide. I think that now that you are out here living your truth, you want to help other people live their truth as well. And so I think that you encourage people to step outside of their shell, to step outside of the shadows and to finally just be themselves. And so people are inspired by you. And again, they just, they look up to you. And that is definitely something that they find to be very beautiful. And that is something that makes you gorgeous. Now, we also have caution coming through let's see what the other card is here and we have taking to heart so that's interesting that's very interesting I definitely think that first of all with the caution coming through I think this is talking about how in the past you used to be more cautious about revealing too much of yourself. You used to be too cautious, very cautious about letting people know the real you. But now that's out the door, right? That's out the window. You're no longer like that. So people like that about you. Um, and with the taking to heart card coming through, I feel like in the past you may have been quite a sensitive person you may have taken to heart a lot of things that people would say if anyone was rude to you I think that you would take that to heart if anyone um, said anything kind of judgmental about you if anyone passed judgment on you and you didn't like it you would take that to heart but now I think you just hear people's you hear people judging you, you hear people giving you harsh words, and you just let that bounce off of you. You just don't really take what people say to heart anymore. And at least when it, you don't take people's meanness to heart. You get what I'm saying? And so people find your ability to just let these things kind of bounce off of you to be so awesome. They love how you're just you, and you don't let 
anyone else make you feel bad for yourself and whenever people say things to you like negative things it just goes in one ear and out the next and that's that and so people love that how blissfully unaffected you are by other people's judgment they find that to be such a superpower because so many people care about what people think about them so many people so many people they just they let other people's rude words really knock them down and throw them in a corner and yet you're not like that and so that is definitely something that people find to be very beautiful your inner strength that you have it is awesome so yeah that is what I'm seeing for you today I hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you stop by the side of Terry to begin sometime okay so I love you all so much and I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day friends bye <laughs>